Hello lovelies, and welcome to a brand new installment of Swan Creates. Yes, hi, I'm Swan, and I like to create stuff. As evident by the title of my channel. <laughs> That's all now. Hello lovelies, and welcome to a brand new installment of Swan Creates. In this week's installment, I take my characters Fred and George, who you see on the screen, and I turn them into plant pots. Yes, it's those two soup pots you see there on the screen again. These pots were current, are currently on my shelf over my table, and I look at them every day. So I was thinking, wouldn't they look better if they were my boys, my OCs, my loves, Fred, and George? So, let's get this started, shall we? So, here are the plants that are currently on my shelf. Yes, yes. They don't look like much, but this is the new one that I got. And this is O'Malley Jr. Here's his mother, she's always hanging in my window, and she's gotten long, so I cut some off to make a new plant. Yes, I really like looking at them, but first, we need to replant O'Malley Jr. With that being done, now is to go into the supplies needed to do this project. I've been doing a lot of tutorials, and you, you don't really need much to do this kind of project. It's like seriously, you barely need anything. So I'm using air dry clay and of course you need paint. And I've had these tools around my room for a long time now. And um, I don't know if I'm going to need it, but I have it there anyway. And when everything is finished, I of course need to put a clear coat because it's a plant pot and it will get wet. So here are all the supplies that I'll be using. And yeah, but first, before I even start anything, the pots, they are very smooth. They have a very nice, thick, cool thing. And I need to get that all off. <laughs> so first get your sandpaper and try to sand off the coating and to rough it up a little so the clay can stick to the pot. The good thing about this pandemic, you have masks laying around the house for projects such as these. Wear your mask. Now that I've scuffed up the pot, I didn't get off as much as I want but it was way harder than I thought. And now the clay can stick to the pot. The clay I'm using is the Femos Natural and it's from Strathmore. I've never used this clay before, so I'm pretty interested to see how it will look. Yeah, this clay is interesting, as I might say, is that it's kind of paper-like. Like if you take a bunch of wet paper, well, mostly like a bunch of paper and soak it in water. You know that kind of feeling? You know that disgusting feeling? But this one didn't feel disgusting, but it was close to that feeling. Okay? Are you fed up of the voice yet? <laughs> I'm not. I'm having fun. And I'm making something called Slick, which is basically a combination of clay and water. It helps to make the clay up here to themselves properly. Did that make sense? I'm not sure. But it's basically in layman's turn. Make the clay stick to each other properly. Yes. So here I am spreading the clay and it's not spreading as smoothly as I would like it. But it is what it is.
After realizing that this clay isn't moving the way that I like, I went and grabbed some water. Seriously something I should have done from the very beginning. This helps me to smooth out the clay more onto the pot as well as it helps it spread easier. So if I wet my hand and take a piece of clay and spread it on the surface of the pot, it helps to spread it, which should possibly be so obvious, seriously, so obvious. And this is just to show you a different angle of the creative process. And why do I open my mouth when I create? Am I a mouth breather? Now that I've finished spreading out all the clay around the pot, now is to put Fred and George eyes. But right now, I am making Fred, the older brother of the two, and I'm putting the little shapes on top of the pot that will, that will house where their eyes will go. This process was literally straightforward. I used some of the slick and put it onto the area where I want the eye to go. Then, I totally ignore that I have tools for this and use my nails to put some texture underneath the eye and then I appear it together onto the pot. I of course didn't like where it situated and I picked it up and just moved it across. Just like that. I think my accent is slipping. I'm sorry. That's not how I usually talk. <laughs> and yeah, that's basically it. And then I use the magic of water to smooth the eye onto the rest of the pot. Of I've heard the two eyes to the pot and now, guys, it's time to put on his tie. I'm sorry, my voice is coming together. He has a tie. And voila, Fred is finished. Look at it. I love how he looks. He looks so good. Yes, yes, you see him. You see him. You love him. Now, it's your turn, pot number two. It's yours. And we're done. With movie magic, things become completed so much quicker. But he's missing his bow tie. Tada, there it is. Even more movie magic. Now my hands are dirty and it needs to be cleaned. And for those of you who are curious, yes, I did use the entire packet of clay. Now it's time to tread in the bin and put the pots out to dry in the Caribbean sun. Now just to leave them overnight. My fingers are pruny. Now it's time to put on one of your favorite creators video. Anyone, choose anyone. And then you get a reference pic of your OCs and a car passes by while you talk. Just so you will know what to do when you get to the pots. Then you grab some paint and basically get to painting. 
But before you do, sketch out your design on your pot. That helps because the pot is basically white. It's like a nice base white and you don't want to put the whole thing green like my friend and Georgia green and then add the red and stuff on top of it it won't come out as vibrant oh and I sand it first and now with a plop of paint I could get to painting and basically that's what I did I just painted within the lines not really <laughs> I have no idea why I love this, but as I was editing this clip, this part just seems so satisfying to me. I, I don't know why. Maybe it's the green. Just, yeah, just so satisfying, guys. So, so satisfying. The green layer is over, now it's time to put a bit of blush onto their faces. Now, with the base coat completed, I can finally put off my pen, my pen, right, my pen, and add on the details. Yes. We're totally going to ignore that this pen was not making do and that I had to use paint and a paintbrush. Instead, totally, totally ignoring that fact because I didn't flim it. And voila, we are done. Here is Fred and George as plant pots. But we're not finished yet. We need to add their clear coat. Yes, yes we do. So we go outside, have your protective coating, your mask guys, and spray that acrylic stuff all over it. Seriously, it smells like acrylic. And now we're finally done. Ta-da! Fred and George. Well, this is George and Fred as plant pots. But before I put any plants in it, I need to level off the bottom of the container and add some stones. After I add in the nissons, as you can see here, it's time to do it. Okay, no, no, wrong, wrong, wrong genre. To put in the blood. I need to play Legend of Zelda again. Such a good show. Such a good game. Such a good game. And now we're totally going to ignore that this is not O'Malley Jr. and put in this. Bato's plant there and ta -da, it looks so good. So there's a new plant that I got. <laughs> yes, I'm slowly buying new pots to fill up these shelves. And here they are, Fred and George holding plants. I'm totally going to do this again with other characters or just to have fun. And this is the new plant that I got. It's a succulent and my shelf is soon going to look so good full of plants 
and there we go ah, i just feel so so happy with how it came out guys and i would like to take this time to thank my patrons who i care princess auntie auntie me harriet Cheshire. Amber Padilla, Danielle, Rel Stars Art, Jennifer Nix, Emile Akoka, Rome Kemp, and of course, my Ebony Queen. Thank you, lovelies, so much. Eh, it was close enough. Close enough indeed, and I am quite proud of the outcome. Now go forth and make your season to plant pots.